thanks to uh, lots of comments and popular demand. We're back here with John this morning and Hi. he is going to show us some of the new products which are coming to the range, which we're really excited about because um, they're actually not available from Bentley, all the ones he's going to show us. And we're going to split this into a few different segments. So over to you, John. What's new? Yeah. Well, so now we've been working on a lot of stuff uh, that's that's just been discontinued by Bentley. And it's important. They're important products. So uh, there's the sorts of things that will stop your car running properly or or, uh, or going well. These, these, are, these are things that are really important uh, for the ongoing maintenance of these cars. So we're pretty proud to have done it ourselves. Some of it's... Uh, what we're talking about here in front of us is is probably investment of fifty to sixty thousand um, pounds just on the table in front of me now. So not small change uh, for a business the size of ours. Um, and I lock the door when you leave. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the it's the stuff that we that we had to to do to get them made. That's so that's not even here. But uh, um, and and of course with a lot of these products you have to you have to buy a lot of them. So. The things you're seeing here, you have to buy a thousand of those. You don't get a chance to buy 50 or 100. You really have, you're into to big money. Um, but that's, that's, someone's got to do it. So that's our, that's our thing. So uh, where do you want me to well, start? Well, then tell me what that is. What okay, is it? Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, yeah, what is it? What is it? Well, it's actually, there are subframe mounts. Both of these are subframe mounts, uh, two different part numbers. They have different applications. And, it, you know, you would be forgiven for thinking they're identical. I mean, uh, looks like they are. They're certainly made from the same tooling, um, but but there's a subtle difference. So in this, you've got this block here. So that, just let me tell you what these do. These are mm -hmm. the front subframe uh, of all cars from around about 1970 through to 1998. So we're talking Silver Shadow and T1 and Silver Spirit and Malzan and Turbo R. All of those on the website, it tells you exactly what they fit and the chassis numbers. So these go into the into all four corners of the front subframe, and this is what mounts the subframe to the body of the car. Really okay. important component because on the subframe you've got uh, not only you've got all the suspension, you've also got the engine uh, mounted onto the subframe as well. So this product is what holds is what connects the actual subframe to the body of the car. And in here you've got uh, this is there's rubber in here. You've got little voids here to help avoid the to to help absorb vibrations. Um, and what happens? Uh, this is you've got metal, metal, rubber, which is bonded. And eventually, over time, rubber breaks down. The bonding goes, and next thing you know, is your subframe is no longer connected to the body of the car, and that's a bad thing. Uh, and obviously, these are we're talking uh, now over 50 years old. Some of these cars, these are breaking down. Okay. So we're starting to see a demand. So and we might sell one every 50 years? A couple, few cars. if we're lucky. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> and there's four <laughs> on the car, which helps. Um, so, you know, that's that's obviously good. But the main thing is that there are actually subtle differences. So this block that's in here right. is actually mounted at a different height from this one. And that actually changes the height of the subframe. It's to do with the, the height of the springs, um, and basically it's lifting or lowering the subframe in relation to the rest of the suspension. That's why we've got two and not one. Uh, okay. That's important because otherwise you did. Uh, and, and this one does, for example, Silver Spirit and Silver Spur from around about, off the top of my head, around about 1985 to 1996. And this is doing all of the other models uh, right the way through from 19... Uh, uh, 80 all the way through to 2000 and uh, sorry 1998 okay so, I have a silly question or it might yeah, not be silly. Well, how no. would you know if you needed that replaced on your car well you'll get you'll get knocks and uh you'll you'll have a lot of play in this and everything will feel like it's loose so you're going to get noise effectively okay. and um you know, worst case scenario you're actually going to get these breaking off completely and have one sub one corner of your subframe will be moving around and that's a really bad thing to have happen because there's so much weight. Uh, all of the energy of the car is being transferred. All of the weight that's 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 on the car is being transferred through these. So it's it's they're pretty critical. You you don't want them broke. You, you want to know that they're good. How long have they been um, unavailable for? Very quite recently. They um, they I think about one or two years about okay. um, we were able to buy them about a year or so ago. I started doing it. I was doing a big project for a, a, a 
customer who needed needed quite a few of them. So that was the stimulus to get to get them made because his project was wasn't going to get off the ground if these weren't replaced. So uh, that was the stimulus. Um, sometimes it's we're customer it's customer driven. So you'll find that a customer needs something and you go, well, you know what, if this customer needs them, everyone else is going to need them at some point. And the truth is that every single one of these will fail eventually because it's rubber and rubber does degrade over time. Okay. Okay. So, you know, I always like to ask this, what is special about how you made that? Well, the, the guys who did this really lovely um, supplier, they are OEM suppliers. They are uh, working with uh, companies that supply Mercedes, BMW, Volkswagen, uh, and a lot of others, um, even Lamborghini and uh, also trucks. So these guys are absolutely top notch. Uh, we've, I mean, one of the interesting things when you when you get a product in, you do a lot of measurements, and usually you have a with engineering you have a tolerance. So the outside will say, right, this is three inches exactly across, but it's allowed to be uh, two point nine nine seven inches to three point Oh, oh, three inches. So plus or minus three thousandth of an inch. You know, a supplier's right when every single one of them comes in bang on three inches. Wow. But so there's not, this is quality. This is quality manufacturing. These people are good. And also, obviously, when you're making this kind of stuff, you need certification for absolutely everything. The whole process, the way they're, the way they're made, every single component has to be within spec before it goes into the assembly and then the entire assembly also has to be inspected you have to have paperwork associated with that oem suppliers are very good at that so we because they're used to getting that from people like mercedes will will only fit products if they know that they've got all of this paper trail behind them that's the standard we're hitting here these are absolutely okay. top-notch and they cost a lot of money but okay they, are, they cost, a lot, cost a lot of money for us to manufacture but presumably the price point is good for the customer Yep, there's not they're not cheap, but they are still uh, you know a hundred pounds cheaper than they were when they were available from Bentley. Perfect, so, and they're available now, right, right now. Hey, okay. okay. So thank you, John. Um, we'll take a break. Do the next product. Cool.